Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how to detect user agent in JavaScript. This link varies from browser to browser. Currently I am using Chrome browser and we will get this sort of output at the end of the video. Let me click on this button get user agent and we are getting this user agent string. You can see currently I am using Chrome browser and the version is 127.000. Let's try this on IE browser. So this is the IE browser. Let me click on this. So this is the string that belongs to IE browser. Like I explained before, it varies from browser to browser. So if you are using different browser, for example, Safari, Mozilla or a Brave browser, you will get a different string. So let's get started and start building this. Let's create an index file here. That will be index.html. Let's have a basic HTML structure and a link to the style sheet. Add a script file at the bottom, which is script.js. As you saw in the demo, we need one button here. Button will be get user agent. We also need one span element to display the user agent string. Initially, we'll leave it empty. Save it. Create a style sheet here. It will be style.css. Select the body element. Display will be flex. Flex direction will be column. Align items will be center. Cap will be around 10 pixels. Select the button element. Border will be none. Border radius will be 10 pixels. Display will be block. Font weight will be bold. Font size will be 16 pixels background color green font color will be white padding will be 12 pixels select the span element font size will be 18 pixels and font weight will be bold save it now let's create a script file here that will be script.js select the button element also select the span element add a click event listener to the button element this will be the handler function now to get the user agent string, we'll utilize the navigator object. So span element dot inner text will be equal to navigator dot user agent. I'll just save it. Open this file in the browser. Now click on get user agent. So we are getting the string. Now let's try with the IE browser. Click and that's the output. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.